Hello everyone, this is Angel with Angel Spiritual Messages and this is going to be a collective love reading for the sign of Virgo and those with Virgo placements um, for the month of June 2023. Spirit, if you would, please assist me in giving Virgo and the Virgo Collective a message and love for June 2023. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are doing amazing. Um, please cross watchers you are always welcome and um, just reverse the roles as need be with regard to this reading if it doesn't resonate please check your other placements we're going to go ahead and get started spirit please show me for the greatest and highest good for the sign of virgo what's happening with and for virgo in love for the month of june look at that one we definitely have to take it all right messages of forgiveness so it looks like virgo you may have been struggling a little bit that's card number 40 um with um a love situation um that is going to require either you or the person that you're dealing with to invoke a message of forgiveness so this may have been um someone that you're married to in a relationship with someone you may have broken it off with or even someone that you may just be in a situation ship with. This could also be um, a message of forgiveness to a friend or a loved one as well. So um, let's keep going. What else do we have for um, Virgo in love 2023? Physical pain. So um, it looks like that this is card number 29. There may be or have been some physical pain associated with this situation um, and that means with the heart if you look at that card there is a heart that is um, intertwined with a sword stabbing directly through the middle and um, what you would call barbed wire or um, whatever it is that roses have on them thorns um a uh, rope of thorns that are covering it and then there's droplets that are um, coming from the bottom of the heart so there is definitely some heartbreak uh, associated with this message of forgiveness that needs to be given someone may have broken your heart you may have broken someone's heart but it looks like a message of forgiveness is definitely something um that is being um suggested and actually being orchestrated by the divine what else do we have message of freedom so there is a message of freedom as well this is card number 38 so a message of freedom you may have ended this situation or you may know um, that this situation needs to end someone may have ended this situation for you and um, at the bottom of the deck I have card number 28 secrets so there may have been some secrets revealed or some secrets that have not been revealed with regard to this connection that needs to be and spirit is saying they will be revealed um, and a message of forgiveness will be offered on to the party who was kept in the dark um, with regard to this situation spirit if you would please give me more messages for the sign of Virgo with regard to love so yeah, it looks like this may have been a difficult situation. Um, someone wanted to be free of the situation because of the physical and emotional pain. Um, someone is going to try to offer forgiveness, um, but there are still some secrets that have yet to have been revealed in this situation. Show me more for the sign of Virgo in love spirit. Um, two more shuffles. One and two. Thank you listen deeply spirit is saying you already know um the truth about this situation and spirit is encouraging you to really really dig deep and listen to your inner knowing your inner guidance spirit has been giving you downloads to make you fully aware of what it is you are dealing with this is not a secret what you know to be the truth is in fact the truth don't let anyone steer your beliefs or what you know to be the truth in your heart show me more because this person that has these secrets um, may have been manipulating you 
and they did cause you pain in the past and they may try to come in um, with this message um, and want to attempt to try to manipulate you again and gain your forgiveness. Um, also, manifestation. Spirit is saying you are manifesting um, something new and better in your life. And um, the guides and the angels are definitely listening to your um, prayers and your manifestations and they are putting it into full action so please hang on um, the message of freedom is here you will be free of the situation and your manifestations will be coming in show me more composure spirit is saying you need to keep your composure about you at this time this person is going to come in when they reveal this secret it may um, employ, employ, excuse me, a rush of emotion. You may get to a point where you want to become very, very irate or angry. Um, this person may be in fact coming in in order to invoke that out of you. But spirit is saying, listen deeply. Okay. You have a manifestation on the way. Keep your composure. You're going to have to stay calm at this very moment. This person is going to try to invoke an anger session out of you. And spirit is saying, don't let that happen. You are in perfect alignment in your ability to manifest. You are in a higher vibration than this person. So don't allow them to pull you down to their level and miss out on your manifestation. At the bottom of the deck, I have opportunity and change. Spirit is saying, there is an opportunity for change with regard to your romantic situation, not necessarily with this person. Maybe so. Um, it's going to be different for everyone, but there is an opportunity for change. OK, I am going to get a little bit more and then we will get into the tarot here in just a second. But Spirit says they have a few more messages for you to try to make this situation more clear. And um, like I said, please reverse the roles as need be. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for the sign of Virgo with regard to love? And two more shuffles. Yeah, this is a, a, a tough one because it's putting you in a position to have to make the right decision. Um, firm foundation. Spirit is saying you're going to have to have a firm foundation when dealing with this person. This person is definitely going to come in and test your boundaries. This is angel number four. Please look up angel number four and see how that um, is in a reference to you. Um, so, so far we have angel number 28, 40, 29, 38, and number four. Um, we do have some progression here in energy from um, angel number 28 to 29. Um, we are missing 39. Um, and then we have 40. So we'll see if um, 39 comes out. Um, but um, Spirit is saying you're going to have to have firm, a firm foundation um, when it comes to being able to manifest this new and deal with this person because this person is definitely going to try to trigger you. Look at that. Uh, disruption. Disruption is definitely on the horizon. This person is going to bring in some confusion and it is going to be in the art of manipulation to keep you stuck. Um, there is freedom here if you stay focused and you keep your eye on the prize. Don't allow this person to reel you back in to this never ending cycle of chaos and confusion. If you look at this disruption card, this man is cut into several pieces. This is someone who is not um, stable, um, who is not sure, who is completely in utter chaos and confusion. This person's hands is completely bound um, and um, turmoil and confusion. Don't allow this person to come in and bring that type of energy to you. So that is card number 16. So please check angel number 16. One more. What else do we have spirit for the sign of Virgo sacrifice spirit is saying you're going to have to sacrifice this situation 
and turn it over to the divine uh, card number 12 um, because this situation is one that has possibly already ran its course and you have something greater coming in with the manifestation card and at the bottom of the deck i have uh, triumph you are going to be very victorious in this if you stay on the proper path that spirit is leading you on card number seven so don't give in to temptation with this person don't get into the mud with them don't lower your vibration um, for the art of having one up on this person know that you are the one that is in control although this person may think that they are they have no control the divine has the control and so do you um, with the backing of the divine you can do absolutely anything and that is what this person doesn't understand this person is operating out of fear and ego you are operating of a higher um, frequency and the direction of the divine so there is no way that this person can defeat you and if you stay true to yourself and your journey then they will not be able to rope you back in show me more for the sign of virgo and then we'll get into the tarot and i will go from there spirit if you would please show me more messages one more shuffle open your heart cart number 22 spirit is saying you're going to have to open your heart once this situation is over with this person who has been trying to manipulate you you need to open your heart um no one is perfect stop judging yourself and others and let love heal this situation so even though uh, this situation may not work out with this person for some of you it will and for some of you it will not um, even though it doesn't work out with this person still make sure that you open your heart and that you deal with the situation out of pure love um, regardless of what has happened in the past for you and this person spirit is saying that is going to be your spiritual growth to be able to take a, a hit and continue to move forward with love peace and with honor show me more for the sign of virgo card number 42 okay so it is saying um your prayers are being answered spirit is saying that they've heard you they have heard your prayers they have heard your cries they have heard your grievances and your prayers are being answered your prayers are being received by the divine answers will be coming soon although perhaps in forms you did not expect and that's why i told you the situation may not work out for a lot of you and you may get um, that manifestation that you were looking for some of you are manifesting um, this situation to um, rectify itself and that very well may happen while some of you are manifesting something new and either way spirit is saying your prayers are being answered show me more all right um virgo i think you may have got this card i think taurus may have gotten this card as well not sure but um i know it was either in the financial reading or in the love reading for another earth sign card number one all is in perfect timing so spirit is saying i'm opening new doors to this situation and possibly new ones but it depends on what side of the coin you are on if you look at this card there are gold coins leading to an open door so there's a lot of abundance and a lot of um really great things to come with this open door this is it it is time to take action I will be here to help you every step of the way. So with this door being open, I could see some of you may be interested in moving away from this person and you may be fearful that financially you're not able to do that. Spirit is saying, I will help you every step of the way. If leaving this situation is something that you want to do, um, Spirit is opening the doors um, to a possible reconciliation if that is something that you're looking for so all possibilities are um, open to you with regard to this situation because of your diligence in believing and staying true to who you are and keeping your focus on that of the divine 
at the bottom of the deck. Your loved ones are safe. Card number 41. So I have progression here with card number 41 and card number 42. Um, let go of your fears and worries of your loved ones. I am looking after you. So if some of you are in a domestic situation, please seek help. I am not an expert, um, but spirit is saying that your loved ones are being protected at this time. So if you fear leaving the situation because of financial um, stability, spirit is going to take care of that. They're opening new doors for you, not only in a romantic sense, but also financially so that you are able to care for yourself and um, your loved ones if um, that is needed. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the tarot spirit, if you would, for the greatest and highest good. Please show me um, the messages for the sign of Virgo. What's happening for Virgo with regard to love in the month of June 2023? Let's see. Show me um, what's going on with Virgo for June 2023 and love and one more shuffle look at that came out two cards popped out and I'll have to show you um, first was the ace of swords that is the sword of truth and clarity um, so I think you have developed clarity about this situation and then I have the two of swords in reverse this means that you have already made a clear decision and either that decision is to stay in the situation and try to make it work or to move forward um, into a different direction because you feel that is in fact what is best for you show me more for the sign of virgo and love show me more spirit what else do we have for virgo look at that the ace of cups in reverse so although you have truth and clarity about this you know um, deep down in your heart that there has been a lot of love spilled out of this situation that you're currently in. You feel that the love for this situation is gone and that there is um, no possibility of that love returning, which is why I think you're making that decision to move forward, some of you. Okay, show me more. Show me more for the sign of Virgo. What is going on with Virgo in love? Well, the divine is definitely listening. Temperance in reverse. That means that this situation lacked balance. It lacked equal give and take. Virgo um, or cross watcher reverse the roles as need be. You may have put a lot into the situation and never received anything in return except heartache, confusion, and chaos. Um, that is what I see when I see the temperance in reverse. And then I have the nine of cups in reverse. So the nine of cups to me in reverse is someone who's very selfish, someone who's very um, much a control freak, someone who wants um, everything their way and wants to win at all costs. This is not someone who is a team player. It is not a person who is wanting to work together for the greater and higher good of you or the connection. This is someone who looks out for themselves and themselves only. So yeah, you are definitely dealing with someone who's being very, very unfair um, in this connection with you. Show me more. 10 of cups in reverse. The love here is definitely uh, gone. Um, it has destroyed not only you, um, but it has destroyed the home life and the family dynamic attached to it as well. Um, show me more. Yeah, this person. Oh my goodness. Okay, show me more. Give me two more shuffles. What else do we have, Spirit, for the sign of Virgo? The nine of pentacles in reverse. This looks like a person that was an opportunist. This person may have been someone who was in it for financial gain, um, someone who was um, a manipulator, a user, um, someone who was definitely trying to get only what they could from the situation and was not willing to invest anything at all 
um, for this connection. This person definitely benefited from you financially and you may have been responsible for carrying the full weight of this situation on your shoulders, which is why the divine is stepping in and saying no more, that it is time for you to be, be victorious. There's a lot of secrets. This person may have had you in a third party situation. Um, I have not seen that come out yet, but I would not be surprised. Please show me more. Look at that. Uh, let me go ahead and pick that up guys and start the shuffle again. Someone doesn't want me to um, do this reading, but guess what? We're going to do it anyway. And I have a card that fell on the ground in the upright, and it is the Ten of Wands. That card I will take because it is definitely rev uh, has relevance in this reading. The Ten of Wands, you were carrying this entire situation, the weight and the brunt of it on your own shoulders. And as I get ready to split the deck, I see the Seven of Swords. This person was a lying cheating, manipulative individual. They were out for financial um, gain and they were um, manipulating you emotionally to get exactly what they want. I also have the King of Swords. This person was someone who was very, very bold, someone very direct and um, did not operate from their heart space. The um, King of Swords is going to be that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I have the temperance on the board, which is going to be Sagittarius energy. Your person may be a Sagittarius as well. Um, and I have the nine of Pentacles. That is going to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And I have the 10 of Cups. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So your person may be one or one of these signs or they don't have to be. Um, but then I also have the queen of cups. This is showing your energy Virgo, someone being very loving and caring with regard to this person. You gave this person your all, but if you look at this queen of cups, um, in the upright, you were just in your dealings with this person. You have now put the lid on your cup of love and said, no more. I'm not issuing out any more free rides. I am done with this situation and I'm ready to move on. I also have the Ten of Swords. This person has caused you a lot of grief, pain, heartache, and um, discord. And then I have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person has drained you financially. Um, and not only have they drained you financially, but the family is struggling because I have both the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in reverse. This has been a very difficult situation, but then I have the Tower in reverse, which means that this person is going to come in and seek a message uh, or provide a message to you wanting forgiveness for what has happened in this situation. But let me tell you something about that. I think you know better, but if you choose to go back and deal with this situation, just know that you will repeat this cycle again. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I have the tower in reverse, which means this person knows that this situation is coming to an end. They know what your plan is and they are coming in to try to prevent this from happening. Okay. Um, so this is currently where you are um, with regard to love. What I'm going to do is try to get the potential outcome for this situation for you. Spirit, if you would, for the greatest and highest good, please give me the potential outcome for this situation if Virgo um, tries to work the situation out with this person. And two more shuffles. All right, so we have the full card. So I feel that you're going to be taking the leap of faith. Um, but I don't believe it is in the direction of this person. I think it is going to be in the direction of your manifestation as spirit has opened those doors. Spirit has given you, um, the message of freedom and has let you know that you'll be triumphant in your, um, direction that you're moving into opportunity and change is on the horizon and your loved ones are safe. Um, financially, remember I said you may not want to leave due to financial issues, um, but 
spirit is saying we have you covered on all of that make the decision you know that the divine is guiding you to make um i have the five of swords in reverse you're no longer willing to fight with this person and you're no longer willing to fight for this situation you said i'm done i am willing to move forward with my life and i'm not going to play any more games the queen of wands energy you are standing firm in the queen of wands energy with a lot of passion and determination for making a logical decision on moving forward in your life you're not allowing anything to deter you from what you know to be where you should be on your path you are possibly um this fire sign energy being the queen of wands is aries leo sagittarius energy and then at the bottom of the deck i have the three of swords in reverse so yes this person originally had you in a third party situation which may have been the reason for this breakup if not they may have just hurt you very badly but you are getting over this heartbreak with the three of swords in reverse so there is lots of beauty coming in for you trust it know it the divine is giving you those messages this is what i have for you virgo i hope it brings you peace clarity and direction your june will turn out to be a very fruitful one if you make the right decision i'm not going to tell you what to do that is definitely going to be up to you but only the right decision will bring you um solitude peace and happiness this is what i have for you again take care um and I will see you on the next one.